Tonight, we are taking you inside the inner workings of a fake license plate scheme. Tina Jimenez was arrested in March, accused of selling the paper tags for profit. ABC 13's Jessica Willie has the details of how it all worked from the search warrant. Jessica? Okay, Erica, the search warrant reveals how investigators believe Jimenez pretended to run a real car dealership issuing more than a thousand fake tags without ever selling a car. For more than a year, investigators with the Harris County Precinct 5 Constable's Office and the Department of Motor Vehicles say Tina Jimenez had a registered car dealership but sold no cars. Easy used cars and trucks with an address at this strip center in Spring existed, they believe, as a front to sell fake paper plates for profit. She was arrested in March. The constable's office shared this video. Tonight, Jimenez remains out of jail on bond. The search warrant related to her two cases reveals the details of her alleged scheme. She's not unique. One that law enforcement officers across Texas have seen repeated and spiral out of control. Well, it's very lucrative and you don't need anything to do it. You can go and go online and get yourself a, a PDF and go to work. According to the search warrant, Jimenez would receive payment via Zelle and often discussed sales transactions with employees on a Facebook group called Hustle Group. She made thousands of dollars, records show, while easy used cars and trucks sold no cars, issued no buyer's tags, but instead issued 1,037 dealer tags. They use the tags. Sergeant Jose Escribano says those buying are trying to mask offenses. They use them for human smuggling. They use them to hide the identity of the cars, which is very easy to do. Uh, if she was selling that many tags, any one of those tags can wind up on a car that does robberies, burglaries. Driver's license and proof of insurance, please. Escribano works for the Precinct 3 Constable's Office in Travis County, where he's on a task force. He also teaches other officers statewide how to spot fake tags and has been a voice in the work to pass House Bill 718, which will ban paper plates, but not until July of 2025. Those will all be eliminated and they will go to metal tag. They will be fully metal. So an officer, if he sees a paper tag, now he really doesn't have to guess on that anymore. He's going to pull it over. Tonight, neither Jimenez nor her attorney responded to an ABC 13 request for comment. She is charged with money laundering and unauthorized reproduction and sale of a temporary tag, both felonies. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.